Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kyle, and this is my continuing playthrough of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And when we last left off, I realized that I gotta get two clicks real fast. Uh, and I don't know what I can jump off of into. Maybe, maybe this way. Perfect. The parchment must be burned before the next dusk, so I've gotta make it to this hunted location pretty quick. And I do not know... Venonis. Oh, I've been here before. This is where that knight found me a while back. There. That's the statue the Senate's use. And some might say, let's leave the scroll and get hunted. I am not that someone. The Mark. Ivor of the Raven Clan. Cool. Done. Nothing but smoke and ashes now. I should get those sellers off my back. That's cool. So they won't actively hunt me, but they're still formidable foes. Okay, that's fine. Fine? That's fine. Nah. Who is this again? Good day. A new customer. You I do not recognize, my friend. Yeah, who are you? What brings you to settle here? Are you merchants? Ah, hello, hello. Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? We come on behalf of a thousand eyes, vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. Sure you if you do. need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. <laughs> I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child. Right, right. My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild, a legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus, you look upon Redda. He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. Uh... How have you come to know me? The Thousand Eyes have one thousand years as well, and word travels fast. And what is it I can do for you, or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in opal. Interesting. What a strange color it has. May I hold it? You may hold it and keep it, Eivor. Huh. A gift from Reda for your immeasurable hospitality. Okay. Now look here. Browse what wares I have on offer. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. What an idiot. <laughs> so these guys are peddling. Whoa. How do I already have opal? That's interesting. These guys are peddling legendary gear of one type or another. A tattoo. A $50 tattoo? No. A decoration. For how much? No. 120 for a nice dagger. 120 for okay. Nothing for now? No matter. My selection changes daily. You will soon find something you like. Now that you are friends with me, you are also a friend of the Thousand Eyes as well. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, not the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people, my other eyes. Seek them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. Okay. An interesting offer. Good to hear. Now, if you will excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh, yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. Good day. 
Okay, is no one gonna talk about the fact that the leader of the Thousand Eyes is a ten-year-old kid? Happens right here. My father. Ah, uh, glad to see you made it, Chilbert. Oh, cool. Thanks to Sigurd, he was a good guide and even better company. He told me some incredible stories. The best ones were about you. Hopefully nothing too embarrassing. There were a few gems. Not to interrupt, Davor, but what of Lid Chestershire? The Alliance has won. The sons of Ragnar are friends to our clan. Glad to hear it. Well done to you both. Cool. Oh, I like it. Eivor, a word of note. <clears throat> Someone has set up shop outside. A trader, I believe. I met him. Redda. A strange young man, but somehow charming. He will make for fine company, I think. I look forward to knowing him better. You have not been long in England. Have okay, you? wait. I see by this He's... map you have barely scratched Mercia. Give it time, little lord. Wessex untouched? Northumbria barren? You still have much to see. Yes, it is a work in progress. Okay. Nobody cares that the leader is 10 years old? Fair enough. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears. So have a look around. You may see a few new faces. I want to see the Alliance map. Completed. Oh, hey. Hey. Oh, no, no, no. Tell me about Grandabritshire. A force of Danes, called the Summer Army by the Saxons, is camped north of Grantebridge at some ruins across the river. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma, if we hope to win their trust and allegiance. My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. <clears throat> Consider this a starting point. Uh, okay. Let's do it. Grant and Bridgeshire. I will leave right away. Good. And may the blessings of Freya follow. Be careful out there. Okay, so question. Whoops, that is her room. Sorry. <laughs> um. Oh, I can sit on the throne. I don't think I've just earned that yet. So we'll hold off for now. Oh my gosh, I love how this game looks. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, was that the one? Did we choose between these two at the beginning? I can't remember. I'll have to look back and see. But I thought it was one or the other, but it looks like we've been able to do one and then perhaps the other. Uh, yeah, I'm going to improve this place. I think it would behoove us. <laughs> no pun intended. 45. Oh, I have 85, so I could do this and the the smaller trading post. Is that going to upgrade the settlement to a three? Hey, it did. Hamlet. Whoa. Oh, we get... Whoa, wait. Stop, stop, stop. Thank you for this. Whether fur, meat, or bone, we will provide only the finest. And if you intend to go hunting, consider bringing us your kills. We will prepare the hides and heads. Aye. I've been mounting Petra's trophies for years, and she's a discerning woman. In all things. I'll keep that in mind. Enjoy your new home. Eivor, you seem to be someone with a penchant for trophies. I do like victories, but I rarely keep a record of them. Your weapons show the marks of great battles, and you walk with a pride that speaks to your triumphs. Am I wrong? You are not. Why do you ask? To bolster our trade, of course. Wallace is the finest tanner and taxidermist in all of England. If you wish the tales of your hunts to outlast you, there is no better way than making trophies of your kills. If you defeat a rare and worthy creature, bring it to us. We will display it for you. A good idea. Keepsakes to adorn the longhouse. I like it. Thank you, Petra. Oh, and before you go, could you spare a moment for a small favor? Sure. Go ahead. 
For the past few evenings, I've heard the howling of a pack of wolves just beyond the border of our woods. Unchecked, they will ravage the wild game in this area. And once the deer are dead, they may turn to us. You feel we should drive them off? I would eliminate them entirely, with your permission, of course. And your help, if possible. Yeah, I'll go with you. A good idea. I will join you now. Good. A pack of wolves is a foolish thing to underestimate. Let's go. This way. I last saw them prowling around just up the hill. You lead. I'll follow. So, my question is, or my statement is... Our settlement is in quite a nice Nonsense. spot. It is Beautiful not terrain, complicated. and the animals you here do are not healthy and populous. But wolves flight. are a worry. That is why you Maybe why the Ragnarsons moved on. Humans upset the balance of nature, and nature pushed back. By attacking us. A wolf will do whatever it takes. They were displaced. Now they come to our door. An arrival. I wonder if Volker is among them. I didn't realize come that every... Come this way. Huh. Stop talking. I didn't realize that every time we upgraded the settlement, you got a lot of new buildings and places like that. That's awesome. I thought you'd have to just build the or upgrade the ones we have. I like it. I'll have to explore Look that here. shortly. Breadcrumbs and crusts. What? They must have stolen something from Tarbin's store or off a table somewhere. You saw breadcrumbs from where you stood. They stand out clearly from the soil and grass. See there? Come. This way. Ah. Smell that. That's a male wolf. Marking his territory. Warding off the competition. How do you know it's a male? A different odor. You pick it up. How did you come to be such a skilled tracker? My family were hunters and trackers. From further east than you've ever seen, I imagine. But I've lived in England for most of my life. This is where we found Wallace. You two are siblings, as Sigurd and I are siblings. Bound by honor, not blood. Yes. To hear my mother tell it, we came upon Wallace abandoned. A babe in the woods. We took him in. Look. The wolves made a kill here. They're in the area. Those trails. They must have dragged the poor beast away. We're getting closer. Ah, see those teeth marks on the carcass? They're different. This is the pack's doing, not just one. That's right. Let's go on. So your family found Wallace in the woods? We were traveling through the forest when I spotted a white elk ahead of us. I chased it, hoping to take it down. I lost it as I came to a clearing. And there on the ground was a wee babe. Our little Wallace, swaddled and alone. Ah, look at that. The pattern on the grass. They slept here. I'm impressed, Petra. You have a raw skill. You have seen nothing just yet. What, is she going to take down the pack single-handedly? So you saw a white elk, and that led you to Wallace. That's right. It felt fated. We took him in and nursed him back to health. I was scarcely more than a toddler myself then. And from that day forward, we were raised as brother and sister. Hmm. These kills are fresh. They're likely near enough to hear us. Probably fled the scene not long ago. Yeah, but they killed everything here. Ah, help! I think we found our wolves. You there. Get to cover. Eivor, with me. Let's end this. I'm at your side. Wait, what? Oh, come on, I thought we were going. Oh, I thought he was up over the ridge. Okay, are we... Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Sorry about your, uh... Ah, that should be all of them. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, both of you. Well, sorry about your... Didn't I kill one up here? Maybe he rolled down the mountain. Sorry about your sheep, bro. Are you all right? Were those your sheep? They were. God take them. They were all I had in the world. Poor blighters never stood a chance. I lost my cows some months back. Now the sheep are gone. Frowny Jesus, what sort of farmer am I? I'm sorry for your loss. With the wolves gone, you can recover in peace. Not without the blessings of God, I won't. But I shall try. You have your life, farmer. With that alone, you can always rebuild. Ava, hold. I hear something. What? I don't hear... Oh, oh goodness gracious me! Felix! Rosemary! Oh, my hey. beauties! You're alive! Come here, my precious angels! Well, that worked out. This was grand, Ava. You hunt almost as well as you fight. Give me a few weeks, I'll learn to track as well as you. Or better. I would be happy to be so humble. This was a joy, Petra. Do not hesitate to call on me the next time you spot any errant beasts. You were the first on my list, Eivor. See you soon. That was cool. Now... <clears throat> Admit it, Alvis. I am the superior wordsmith. Admit to a falsehood? Oh. I would sooner square a circle. Can I what do some flighting? Here? Holger wishes to prove that flighting is a lesser art. I am correcting him. It is unrefined, unpalatable, unpleasant. I could beat you without a lick of practice. That is not so, you thick-headed... <laughs> Eivor, care to judge a flighting? Yes. I would happily judge, brothers. Show me what you have. I will begin. <clears throat> There's a skin-deep resemblance twixt Holger and me. For inside, he's just hot air and bad poetry. Well, in all but our talent, we're certainly twins. It should be no surprise to see which of us wins. Not bad. Now hear this. Uh -uh. You see, flighting is simple. So hearken to me. Look, anyone can do it. It's so easy. But the true challenge in life is to do something more. Like writing sagas, painting pictures, and... Uh... All this is the clear winner, Holger. I should have expected no less from you, Eivor. Right. You have no Here's ear for break. these things. Oh, come A on. Pity. Thank you, Eivor, for acknowledging the natural order. I mean, the other guy had a good ending with lore. Lore is good. That works. But he took too long to get to it. If you're going to do a rap battle, you got to be ready to rap. Hello, Eivor. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nature is amazing. Hunting log. Legendary animals can be found throughout the world. The log will update when an animal is discovered or when it has been slain. Returning its trophy to Wallace will grant you many rewards, including a memento of the victorious hunt. Elk of Bloody Peaks. That's the elk that I took down. Can't really click on it or anything. One Peakland hunter spoke of seeing this wild elk with three still living men impaled on each one of its horns, blood dripping from them like simple ornaments of death. I... I don't, uh... Happy to say I've refreshed my stocks. I don't think I've seen... <laughs> I don't think I've seen it with men draped from its horns. What have you got for me today? Oh, so he doesn't have anything else. Is there only nine? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That seems like a small number, but okay, All done. that's fine. Hunter delivery. Brought something for you. I did. Oh, okay. So I can bring, bring me this them would be helpful. Various things to get various rewards, and there's a lot. Okay, that's a. Ooh, hey, what is this? Animal bone. 
Something I'm looking enough. for this. Oof. A hare's foot. I don't think I'm going to get those very easily. Brown bear fur to get one nickel ingot. Done for now. Okay. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Say hi to Petra if you see her. I will do that. What was that? Wallace's to-do list. Ask Gunnar for new scraper. Collect pine bark in western forest. Check with Petra about next week's hunt. Remind Nud not to shit in the piss pot. Fair enough. Story for Petra. Ooh. So is that going to lead to a possible hunt? No? Okay, fair enough. All right, well, I think uh, I think I'll actually end this one here. I know I did not do... I don't think I did a single fighting thing this recording. I just did some light exploration, some figuring some stuff out, returned home, got a new quest, or two or three. Uh, oh, I did kill the wolves. I didn't do any fighting against people for once, so... And this might have been a little bit shorter, but... Whatever, no biggie. Some of them can be shorter. Some of them can be less violent. Uh, sorry, Jaffo. Anyhow... I do thank everybody who decided to watch today. I'm uh, there's no end to these in sight. I'll get I'll get to part 30 or 40 of this, I bet. And I thank you all for watching, which I already did. I thank you again. Anybody who decides to watch, thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot. Every watch counts. I do appreciate it. And you guys will see my gameplay and you will hear my voice on the next one.